Shout out to you, Samuel, and big shout out to you for being a channel member as well. It says, bravery is to act without fear. Courage is doing what you got to do, even if you are scared. Then there's bravado, the gangster, I ain't no punk scenario that Smokey falls under. Too many fall victim to it. Yes, 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 yes. And what I wanted to say earlier, what I was saying earlier, Samuel, was that a lot of these smoky ass guys, the reason why, you know, that they're trying to give off this gangster, I ain't no punk facade is because they are not on man status. Men are supposed to have their ducks in a row, have stable, strong foundations. They're supposed to have their finance together, their minds together. Uh, their business in, in order, everything. A man is supposed to be on his P's and Q's. He's supposed to stand solid on his square and foundation. And with Smokey, he does not have that. He doesn't have the mindset. He doesn't have the direction. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, um, Des. He doesn't have any of those things going on for himself. So the, the at the very least, I have to try to play it up like I got it because I really don't. See, it very much so gives the broke guy syndrome, okay? Let me let me break that down for a second, and I'll read you in a second. But I love this, Samuel. Let me say this. When, you, when you're a broke guy and you don't have a lot going on for yourself, you have to try to play up an image so that people can perceive you to have it. So you have to go out of your way to be the flashiest. You know, your whole paycheck, you're wearing it. That's broke shit. Yeah, look what I got, man. I got the new Roly. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got the new this. I got the new that. You know what I'm saying? I got this. I got... You're wearing everything that you own. That's not wise. That's broke guy syndrome. Okay. And the guys that really do have it, if you would notice, they may have maybe one staple piece, if you will. Their, their whole wardrobe is not dripped and draped out. No. You won't even know that they got it. Why? Because I already know. Why do I have to show you that I, I know what I am? I am that I am. But the person that does not have it, they have to be the flashiest, the loudest, the most braggadocious, the whole nine. But when you got it, you're like, Shh, I got it. I ain't worried about it. Let's take it a step further. Let's make it applicable to, uh, to women. Okay? Let's apply to the women. When you are an attractive woman, like Rick Ross said, you know, she's so fine, she ain't even got to talk. That's what it can give. But the chick that ain't hitting on a lot, these are the bitches twerking on tables. These are the bitches being loud. I'm, I'm a bad bitch. Fact, sis. You know, ah, you know, bye, bye, you know, those type of bitches. She ain't got it like that. So she's going to try to over deliver to show and prove like, look, I, I'm a bad bitch too. And I'm pretty and I'm cute. And you know, I got this and I got that. Give me your attention. You have to, you have to try to go and seek the attention because you know, you really ain't got it. But when you got it, eh, I hope y'all following a little bit, sis. So a lot of these basic females, they could really get fooled into believing because this guy is so flashy. Oh, he must be rich. Or or because this guy is, you know, he's he's showcasing all this bravado. Oh, uh, yeah, he he uh that's a real man, he can protect me. He's strong, he masculine, you know. And we all know from just observation and just peeping game, a lot of those guys that got the most mouth. Nigga. Weak as fuck. I never want to be with a guy 
that talks about what he gonna do and what he can do and what he got. Never. Because all you're displaying and showing to me as a game peeper is that you ain't got it. And you probably gonna put me it in, in, in harm's way. Be quiet, be silent, move wisely, strategically. Those are the men that are men. But so often, these GMO basic ass females. They think the loudest in the room is the most tough in the room. They think the most flashiest in the room is the richest in the Just dumb shit. And so when they're presented with grown, respectful men, successful men, it's like, oh, he's boring. He probably ain't really got it like that. But, you know, at least he, he can get me something to eat. Type bullshit. And, and what's really crazy, you guys, is we don't realize that the, the type of men that we need are those respectful, grown men that carry themselves with class and not all of this hood shit. We don't realize that we need them until we've already been fucked over by Smokey. 